Hey folks, welcome to a brand new series with Project Zomboid, episode one. I love me some episode ones. It's kind of like opening Christmas gifts. You don't know what you're gonna get and the anticipation is almost overwhelming. You're very optimistic. <laughs> Anything can happen. That's how episode ones feel for me at least. My name is Drunk on Life. I'm your host and let's try not to die this time, shall we? Let's go ahead and uh, get started here. We're gonna do Riverside. We're not gonna be staying in Riverside. We're going to be in wilderness survival. That's what I'm looking at. I've changed a few things in sandbox mode. Basically, I have uh, changed the zombie count from insane to high. I think that that is going to be more manageable. I also turned off, where is it? The uh, meta events, the statistics. I turned off the sleeping event. The helicopter still sometimes. Generator respawn is extremely rare. I think that might actually make things a little bit more interesting. I don't know what other is, so I just kept it at rare, but everything else is at extreme rare. And uh, finally, where is it? My zombie lore. There it is right there. I turned off environmental attacks as well as made zombie house alarms triggered. So that is that. And finally, I turned off my respawn rate again. Um, yeah, I just did it. I'll explain that later why I did that. Um, this is my character. He's Dirty Sanchez. He is all scrubbly and stuff. He's a bad, bad man, y'all. Let me give him some chops there. Um, we've got a theme song we'll be premiering later on in this video about Dirty Sanchez. As far as character traits, he's unemployed, high thirst, overweight, uh, slow healer, smoker, unlucky, weak stomach, slow reader. I'm going to get rid of brave. He's not very brave. He is brave, but, you know, I don't really need it. I think I'm going to give him amateur mechanic. He's kind of like one of these trailer park guys, you know? Not to say anything bad about trailer parks, but... Yeah. He's somebody that you would see on Cops. I don't know if you guys have watched that, but yeah, he's that guy. Cat's eyes, dexterous, outdoorsman, inconspicuous, brawler, stout, archer, archer, which is a uh, a new mod trait, and handy. Looks good. Let's get busy, y'all. Giddy up. Let's see what the RNG has in store for me. I'm hoping it's gonna be it's gonna be kind to me. So I, I left a poll in my community tab yesterday, mentioning that Kevin. Our last character, he died. And it appears that uh, overwhelmingly you guys don't have confidence in my driving. I think a close second was something like uh, Ke Kevin's incompetence also. <laughs> I'll leave a link in the description below to Kevin's uh, the last 48 minutes on this planet for those of you who are the, that are curious. Dang it, we're in a uh, bad spawn. A bad spawn place. This is uh, the trailer park up north of Riverside. It sucks. It sucks so bad. Um... So, if you are curious about the answer, and you don't feel like watching the video, I think you should anyway, but uh, if you answered driving, you were partially correct. Although, technically, technically, if you said bitten, you'd also be right. I actually died from hitting a tree, but that was after I was bitten. So, it's kind of a trick uh, poll. <laughs> I'm not finding anything. Just the satchel. Not much of anything else. Feels bad. Let's go out here. Yeah, there are a lot of zombies. No weapon. I'm gonna make my way. I need to find a car. I'd like to find a backpack, but I definitely need to find a weapon. So we have a lot to do in this episode. I want the series to be an outdoor series where the focus is trapping, foraging, fishing, etc. I was actually on the fence. I was going back and forth between building a safe house directly in the middle of the city because of all the danger. It would actually suit Dirty Sanchez a little bit more to be building outside, you know, in the middle of the city. But I can't. I decided I was going to just do outdoor living this time. I know a lot of you guys wanted more trapping, fishing, and forging in the last series, so that's ultimately what I decided to do. I'm not using Hydrocraft this go round though, um, but I did add a number of new mods that you guys will see here. We're going to go down here into this uh, storage area. Maybe, hopefully, maybe find a weapon. A couple cars. There's a uh, key over there. There's a nice truck. Dirty Sanchez is all about the trucks. So the problem with the uh, Wilderness Survival series, and I was talking to Ghoul King a little bit about... Okay, let's go over here. Ah, Hellfire. <laughs> My first problem already. What do I want to do? Okay, I'm going to go around. Maybe we can skirt these guys around. Yeah, I don't want to chance there might be like 30 other ones over there but we'll go over here and look at that that looks like a nice car 
Can you get in? I can't. Okay, I'm not going to worry about it. <laughs> I'm not going to worry about us. Worry about... I'm not going to try to break into a, a locked car just yet. It might be a little bit early for that. Don't panic, drunk. <laughs> oh, my. Yeah, this is a bad start. Off of me. So the problem with the Wilderness Survival Series, like I said, I was talking to Ghoul King, and he was, uh, you know, survival aspects of Project Zomboid aren't really fleshed out. Um, for example, uh, things that you would normally use to build tools, like uh, forging for chipped stone, they're really rare in spite of the fact that you can still collect stones. Now, you can collect stones. Oh, there's a generator. I guess extremely rare isn't rare enough. Or maybe I, I don't know. Yeah, we won't go in there. You didn't see me. Um, you can collect stones, but you can't really do much with them. So among some of the survival mods I've chosen, Chip of Stone is one, which will remedy that particular problem. I also added a mod called Desperate Crafting, which will allow you to make things like a tarp or a homemade glue. And we'll let you uh, cut open cans with a knife or a saw. That just seems pretty practical in my opinion. More guys over here. I added, also added a mod called Wilhelm's Wilderness Improvements. That's what I think it's called, which adds all sorts of forgeables. That's actually a mod that's on my multiplayer server. You can actually, uh, if you want to play around with me and my group, you can always go to my D Discord link. I'll put that in the uh, description below as well. But it adds a lot of uh, forgeables, uh, including tobacco and animals. So you can roll up, make your own blunts. <laughs> I'm not going to find anything in here. I'm not feeling really confident. I guess I could always go by the warehouse too. Make a stop by the warehouse and see if there's anything there. Um, it allows for a bow and arrow, and that's really the reason why I um, went ahead and uploaded it. I think that's pretty friggin' cool. You know, you can be like an outdoorsy type with a, like almost like a Daryl type from Walking Dead or something. So, long story short, Sanchez is going to be rocking a bow and arrow here pretty quickly. Um, I've also added Wilderness Zeds, um, which basically plops uh, her hordes down in areas that aren't really populated with zombies. So the days of hiding in the middle of nowhere will essentially be gone. I've seen some of the hordes. Some of the hordes are quite large, and they just kind of wander and run around and create all sorts of havoc. That's a dash buck key. Maybe I might get lucky here. Any gas? Of course, no gas. All right, let's get out of here. I do have a gas can now, so that's good. Part of the equation. If I do find a... A... Uh, a, a car. I might try to take this dash buck. And Dirty Sanchez does like his trucks. But I just don't know if I'm going to be able to. Yeah, I'm going to be able to. Ah, oh, fuck me. All right. So all that said, with all these mods, we still need items from uh, the city, which I intend to collect. Uh, for one, we need a screwdriver. We need a wrench for our mechanical stuff. And we definitely need a saw. The screwdriver and saw and wrench, need, we can't craft those. So we absolutely, positively need them. And we really need the saw so we can craft uh, some sturdy sticks. I think I can actually craft sturdy sticks from tree branches as well. That's part of the Desperate Crafting mod, I believe. But if we want to really get somewhere, man, they're just scattered all over the place here. What a terrible start. <laughs> um, we need a tarp as well, or a candle. If we can't find a tarp, what we can always do is we can take sheets, a candle, and some flour. Maybe some water. I'm not exactly sure what the what the recipe is, but we can actually do that and make our own tarp. We can't make a tent without one of those items. So if we can't make a tent, we can't sleep in the woods. If we can't sleep in the woods, then this is pretty much a done deal. Let's go in here. See if we can find anything here. I searched for a mod that could make a forest bed, but couldn't find one. I thought that a forest bed would be kind of cool. I, they actually have some in Hydrocraft, but... I couldn't make one for the life of me, so I was like, screw it, I'm not going to mess with Hydrocraft, at least for uh, this series. As always, we need gas and gas cans to get around the map. 
the extremely rare generator spawn is going to be interesting. It's, uh, it may mean, what I'm hoping it means is that I have to make some difficult choices between a mod for a safe house or not. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do a mod or, you know, like build a safe house. Probably will in the middle of nowhere. Or whether I'm going to, uh, is there anything up here? Do not like those, the sounds of that. That's probably coming through the wall, so yeah, there's nothing up here. All right, I guess the, uh, the next step will be to go to, uh, the houses in between here and Riverside. Maybe we might find a car. Gotta get mobile and there's some duck on it. More zombies. I also added a few points of interest. Uh, we have the usual suspects, Bedford Falls and Slocum Lake. We've already messed around with that, but I also added Over the River, Stone Hill Apartments, Fort Redstone, Overlook, and Lake Ivy as well. Lake Ivy, all of those are on my multiplayer server except for Lake Ivy, although I thought I put it on there. It's not on there, so I definitely want to go and check that out. I might actually make my safe house around there. It's in between Rosewood and Muldrow, like right over there near the farm area. Okay. Cruise over here. Maybe I might be able to find a weapon. A weapon would probably be the number one thing I need to find right now. A clock would be nice as well. <laughs> Alright, so this is the house. There might be cars over here. Nothing. So Kevin had a pretty good run. He was uh, alive for about five months, a little bit under five months. Let's go ahead and do that. There's a couple zombies down there. I'm not too worried about them. Jump in here. No alarm. That's good. Make sure there's nothing downstairs. Cohabitating with me. No, nothing. Okay. Can opener I'll go ahead and take. Canned carrots I'll take. I could use all the food. I'm overweight. I gotta worry about that. And of course, this is a uh, engineer's house. Well, hellfire. Not what I really need. I do not care about engineer's houses. The dead body. I do not like all these doors being open. So Dirty Sanchez, he's kind of like a criminal, right? I mean, he's a psychopath. He's been in and out of prison. There's an alarm clock right there. 1310. All right, and the alarm the alarm is off. I always like to make sure that the alarm is off. It makes uh, Dirty Sanchez very, very angry when he is woken up at three in the morning to an alarm. Nothing in here. Nothing in here, bath towel. We'll take some soap for Dirty Sanchez. Clean out his dirty mouth. And of course, nothing. Well, doggone it. Nothing on the dead body. He just drank some bleach and got on with his life. Move to the hereafter. The sweet hereafter. All right, we'll come over here instead. Yeah, we'll go in here. We'll, we'll see what's, uh, what's what over here. There's nothing in there. Let's open this up. And generator there. What does... Does Project Zomboid know, not know the meaning of extremely rare? Or are these, like, going to be... Like, I just happened upon, like, the first two... Uh, the first two... The only two generators in the entire... Uh, in all of Muldrow County or something. Or am I going to run into more? Extremely rare should be extremely rare, right? <laughs> Let's open this. Come on out. Let me kill you with my bare hands. He's rocking those red pants. Dirty Sanchez, that is. <gasps> Alright, let's go in this house and see what we can find here. Probably need some water. I'm a little bit thirsty. A little bit hungry. 
There's nothing. All right, let's drink some water. Is there anybody in here? Yeah, there's one guy in here. Oh, so a little dirty Sanchez backstory. He's actually uh, was a Twitch uh, stream character of mine. I sometimes stream with another streamer named uh, Shrimpella, and we just usually kind of screw off for a couple hours on my server. Nothing really serious, and usually it's a good time. But anyway, uh, Shrimp is a musician as well and created a theme song for Dirty Sanchez. It's about a minute long, and I think it's really good. Uh, we're going to take a listen while I search this house. And, uh, yeah. Let's do that. You thought he was a legend Made for campfire songs But now you hear him coming You know that you were wrong But if the legend is true Hide Before Sanchez finds you He's not afraid to shoot his gun He's not afraid to kill someone If I were you, then I would run away I don't know what he's come here for But there are zombies on the floor If I were you, I'd lock your doors and pray I don't know if there's something wrong with him He's going for a drive and he's thirsty for the kill Run and tell your friends what you have seen this day He's called Dirty Sanchez And he's ready to play Well there you have it, top of the charts baby, it's a good one it's soon to be oldie but goody. I love it. Love it. All right, so I haven't really gone over my over Dirty's plans for the day. Uh, to be honest, I was hoping for a better spawn point and a better start. It's midday already. 1450. And we still don't have a weapon. Not a good start. I know I'm not playing in, with insane som zombie populations now, but without a weapon, even on high populations, it makes it so very little can be done. So we need a weapon first. Or a car to putter around Muldrow County. After that, it's all about getting supplies. Cooking supplies, like maybe a cooking pot, frying pan, maybe even a kettle. And also, lots of tools. Like I said earlier, you can't craft a saw or a screwdriver. So both of those are necessary to find. We also need a tarp or flour and a candle to make a tarp. Oh, yeah, and cigarettes. Lots of cigs to handle Sanchez's dirty little habit. Uh... Which reminds me, we added another mod called Viable Traits, which essentially allows us to add or remove traits by using unused skill points. It was created uh, by Fenris Wolf, uh, the same guy responsible for that ORGM mod. It's going to sneak around. Can't tell if they saw me or not. Yeah, she saw me. Can I push her down? Maybe I can get both of these guys. Maybe no one else will show up. Oh, come on. Is the tree holding you up? Is that the problem? <laughs> For fuck's sake. All right. Here we go. All right, so viable traits. Uh, it's an another mod that kind of makes sense. After all, a cigarette addiction should have the potential to go away with time, right? Am I right? And I chose Riverside because I'm super familiar with the town, which makes sense as well. After all, uh, if a zombie apocalypse happened... Hellfire. Let's just, uh, let's just scoot on down. I gotta get this done before, uh, night falls. I'm not using nocturnal zombies this time, so I can actually work at night if I want. But if a zombie apocalypse happened where I live, I would pretty much know where to go. How far away are we from town? I don't think we're too far away. Alright, just a slight panic. Keep running. Should be a road up here. Man, could you imagine? Like, I mean, I'm so grateful that uh, they added cars because without cars, you'd pretty much be uh, stuck in the town that you spawned in. Everything takes so long without cars. 
takes long anyway because the map's so huge. All right, up here should be the bar. Got a nice little trail going. And there's some cars. Maybe I can find a car here. That'd be very nice. Can't get in there. South Camino, no. Just gonna check all the things. There we go. Screwdriver and a hammer. Okay, so I found a screwdriver. The hammer I, I'm gonna use. I can also craft a hammer if I need to. Even this uh, Trans Am. Painkillers, okay. Nothing in there. The Corvette. Digital watch. Okay, so we got a digital watch. We can actually see. I can get rid of this uh, this clock. I will. I'll do that in a few. So I actually can see the time and the weather. Thing in here. Matches. Yes. I'm a little bit anxious. It's because of my uh, my cigarette addiction. God, man, another engineer. That's an engineer's car. He must have been uh, parked over here. Let's see what's over here. We got a couple keys. The laundry mat. The general store is up here. We're going to go ahead and go in there as well. Maybe we might be able to find a uh, taxi key. Okay. Well, we have the option of a taxi if we need it. I do have a a little bit of gas that I can do. Let's check this car out, too. Duct tape, lipstick, cat toy, and yeah, nothing. Okay. Trunk, empty gas can. Okay, so we got two gas cans. We got an empty one and a, and a full one. That works. We can always take this car, too. It does have gas. That's good. Okay. So if we need to, we can take that car. Go ahead and look at this key. I'm going to be willing to guess it's probably the white car. More interested in uh, the truck, though. All right. This has, this has a key, and this is what we're going to take. Take a look at the, uh, at the engine. The quality, overall quality of this car. Oh, wow. Oh, baby. That's a nice one. Yeah, that's definitely what we're going to do. Go ahead and add the gasoline. I might try to add, check all these cars for gasoline and just kind of load up on gas here. We do want to go to the gas station. Maybe find some more gas cans. And uh, if we have time, I want to hit the hardware store. Yeah, that doesn't have any gas. What about this one? Yeah, I can siphon from here. And the zombies are being very kind to me. They're not really uh, moving into my area. Here we go. Okay. Not a lot of gas, but enough. This will get us started. We'll add that. Right. Let's go inside. Hopefully there won't be an alarm. Let me check this car too. Just kind of curious. Yeah. Nothing in here. Okay. One more car. You can siphon from here too. What you do in a survival game. Spend a lot of time just uh trying to gather supplies. So I don't know whether he's gonna be a nomad and where we just kind of go and we trap for a while in a place and then we move on, or whether he's going to um actually hang his hat. I was thinking maybe around Lake Ivy would be nice. I'm going to find a permanent residence. I want to find some place that's going to be close to water. With lots of woods around. Here we go. Empty gas tank. Ah, hellfire. Okay, so there... 
I'm going to have to, I don't, I'm guessing that there is not an alarm there because otherwise that zombie would have set it off. We do have alarms that trigger with zombie movement as well. It's all right. Take the bowl. Take the roasting pan. There's another zombie. I always use a screwdriver if I need to as a weapon now. Don't want to, but I might. There's a kitchen knife. Okay, cool. So we are in business now. We got a weapon. Dirty Sanchez is ready to rock and roll this house. Condiments, cooking pot, yes. Any ciggies? Ciggies would be nice. Kettle and a lighter, yes. Cigarettes, there we go. Cool, so we are almost full up. Canned mushroom soup. It's a little bit overweight. It'd be better for me to like find berries to eat, but you know, when a pinch. When in Rome, you want to do what the Romans do, right? And that's uh we're in America. <laughs> So if, we're, if we gotta eat, we gotta eat. Especially if there's food. Take that lighter as well. And... More cigarettes, okay. So we got enough cigarettes to last us a second. Let's see if there's a backpack or anything over here. Small leather bag, socks. Had a jacket, school bag. I don't know if I equipped that or not. Let's go in here. Any zombies? Nope. Okay, one more. Nothing here either. Do all the canned stuff. Take the butter knife as well. And there we are. Go ahead and move the keys over, equip that on our back. Move all the food into the backpack. Try to keep as organized as we can, especially since we don't have a safe house. Giddy up. Eight o'clock. I thought I'd be further along, but you know how that goes in my in my head. I thought I'd be a lot further along. <laughs> we're going to gas station first and then maybe the hardware store. From there, we're going to find a house to lay down on tired heads somewhere down the road. Hopefully, I'll be able to get it all done. I figure we will be in a safe spot by midnight. That's the hope, at least. Uh, the zombie apocalypse has a way of derailing things, though. Look at all these zombies. But we have a weapon, that's everything, and uh, Sanchez's book, uh, with a weapon dirty can unleash all sorts of hell on the zombie population. You better believe it. Go ahead and get all these guys out of the way. Twosies, threesies, foursies. He ain't scared. He ain't scared. He is a bad, bad man. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get him. Fivesies. Here we go. The weapon to everything changes. Alarm? No alarm. Okay. Come over here. Ah, hellfire. Let's go ahead and grab her too, just in case. I don't want her to bust down and out that window and uh, alert all the other undead around us to my location. All right, nothing here. Tire pump, I'm not gonna worry about that. Energy bar and a gas can, there's a gas can. Good deal. Go ahead and grab that key. It's probably a key to this uh, building, but you never know. You never know, you might luck out. Energy bar. Newspaper will do that so we can roll blunts here in a, 
few. We can forward some tobacco. Energy bar and a gas can. I'm a little bit hungry. Kind of peckish. I'm just a little hungry. Is there anything else? No. Another zombie here. Alright. Let's go ahead and add some gasoline. Fill her up. I would move it, but I don't want to attract anything more to my location. It seems like this would be the safest, if not the longer, longer way to do things. It might be the safest way to do it. Uh, knowing how uh, sound travels and all. Uh, speaking of that, Ghoul King has a uh, pretty good advanced tips video out there that you guys can check out if you want um he talks about how sound waves in effect like as far as like orgm like the guns it's pretty interesting i wish he would have done something about the generator because the generator also generates a lot of sound although i think that what i heard i think it's like three quarters of the screen is uh about the sound level that you can expect. Let's go up here. We'll put a card up there if you guys are interested in. If you haven't seen Gold King's advanced tips yet, you can always check it out. Police station. Might as well go in here. I think I got time. It's almost 10 o'clock. Surprisingly bright, but I have cat's eyes, so there's that. I did set have the setting on, uh, of course it's locked. It would just be my luck if this is alarmed. But it's not, okay. She might have a key on her. I don't have an ax, so I can't really... Trying to break down that security door would be no use to me, but there might be a key on one of these dead bodies. Not on those two, but maybe in here, no check the uh all the file cabinets and whatnot nothing all right I'm not gonna even bother oh you know what that key let me go check and then we'll uh, head off into the uh nothing in there can I open it? No. Okay. I might come back for it later, but not for not for the now. We just it's we're burning daylight here. Let's go ahead and uh go to the hardware store. Look at my driving. All of you guys who, uh, who who predicted that I would die in a car crash because I'm such a terrible driver. Were you, I'm going to prove you guys wrong this series. You'll see. You will see. <laughs> Look at that. Didn't even hit a zombie yet. Mad skills. Let's go up here. I might try to, if I can find an alarm, like a, a car with a siren might go ahead and try to push them away. Nothing up here. The reason why it shows a truck is because as you can see it doesn't it's not really affected too much by uh, grass. Try not to run over any of these guys. Out of my way man. Whew, there's a lot of them. here and see if there's any cars up here because if I can set off an alarm then that would be a decent enough distraction. A couple trucks nothing really alright come back around might be just wasting my time alright dead body yeah screw it I'm, I'm wasting my time I'm just going to go ahead and do it Let's do this thing. Kind of 
digging how quiet this site. I didn't check to see about the muffler, but it's uh, ah, hellfire. There, there went one of my weapons. Luckily, I have this screwdriver. We are. Here we go. Go over here. See if we can, ah, here we. All, all the ones that are going to come, they can come. Bring it. Here we are. There we go. Ultra gore. Not going to work. All right. Can they see me? Get all these guys all around me. All right. Shatter this window. Anybody coming? Anybody hear it? Didn't look like it. Now uh, there's two. She coming, she's coming. Alright, anyway, 11 o'clock. We go. Let him come in. I'm surprised I'm not hearing many more alarms. Or at least set it off. Now, granted, I'm not in a residential area yet. No alarm, good deal. Wonderful. Ah. Tent peg. I'm not going to worry about the tent pegs. I can actually uh, carve those uh, up. Fishing tackle I'll take. Box of nails. Wood glue. Grab one of the welding mask. What else? Hunting knife, that's nice. We can start belaying fish, a wire for uh, fish traps, propane torch. We'll go ahead and grab those as well. Don't know if I'm going to be using a lot of uh, metalworking, but I might as well. From Dirty Sanchez's perspective, there's a tarp. All right, so we can make a tent. We can be all outdoorsy here in a few. I don't know if I'll be it tonight. I might just stay in, find a house to lay my tired head. <laughs> Wood glue, duct tape. More wire. I'm so glad that the zombies decided to give me a fishing rod. Decided to give me a little bit of a... of a reprieve. And they're moaning out there though now. See an axe? There we go. Now we can start murdering properly. Uh, would grab that screwdriver. I don't want to. I have a... With a screwdriver... And the problem is, is that it, I get tempted to use it as a weapon, and I don't want to do that. I want to use it as a tool, and then just call it a day. One saw. I probably shouldn't even grab that axe. I can craft an axe. Box of nails. Twelve o'clock. Well, the witching hour. Let's go ahead and get out of here. There we go. Still using the screwdriver, but that's alright. Put it up here in a second. Empty gas can. That guy had an empty gas can. He was thinking the same thing as Dirty Sanchez. <laughs> alright, let's get out of here. We're gonna head uh, outside the city. This is a decent... A decent episode one. Not the most perfect one. Not the one I was envisioning. But hey, you know what? Project Zomboid doesn't always give you what you want, right? Look at those blood splatters. They're empty, which means that I ran them over and they still got up. <laughs> oh, it's serious. I'm gonna still not, try not to hit them. Still got the lights going on. A little uh, nudge. Almost out of the city now. And I have an idea of where I want to go as well. Uh, one, I think one of my lights just went out. Yeah, we'll come up here. Yep, one of my lights are out. Doggone it. That's the way it goes.
All right, so we're gonna find us this little spot up here, and we're gonna be done for the day. We've actually, this is a cemetery. I have actually completed an entire episode without crashing my car once. <laughs> that must be like a record or something for me. It must be, in, I'm insane. Kind of hurt my feelings that you guys think that my my driving isn't up to par. That I drive like a 80 year old woman or something or a man. Don't want to be sexist. <laughs> All right, so it's uh, almost 1 o'clock, and I think we're going to stop right here. My name's Drunk on Live. You can call me Drunk for short. This is Project Zomboid, the wilderness edition. <laughs> Not quite the wilderness yet, because we're going to stay in this house tonight. I need to make sure that there's no alarms or anything. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Here's to uh, a fun series. If you haven't subscribed to me yet, you can always subscribe to me. I do Project Zomboid videos Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I also do survival games. I stream on tr Twitch. I do Project Zomboid videos on Twitch as well. Streams, that is. And, uh, you know, you could always uh, check me out there. Why do I keep hearing things? I'm also on Twitter. If you do Twitter, uh, twitter.com forward slash drunk on life. You can do a search for drunk on life. You'll find me. If you want to join my Discord server, you can always uh, click on the Discord link on the about page of this channel. I'll put the Discord link in the description below as well. And yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys later. See ya. I don't know if there's something wrong with him. He's going for a drive and he's thirsty for the kill. Run and tell your friends what you have seen this day. He's called Dirty Sanchez and he's ready to play.